Welcome to labmiss.com in the lab video series on Cisco Umbrella. This is Metha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of Umbrella videos, you can visit our website under the security section. Then you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. Welcome back to the next Lab Minutes video series. In the last video series, we started talking about how SASE has gained a lot of attention and popularity in the industry. In case you're not too familiar with SASE, SASE is a term introduced by Garner to describe a technology or in most cases combination of technologies that help enterprises deliver fast, efficient, and secure connectivity between sites to the internet as well as remote access to an on-prem and cloud-based applications. For Cisco, SASE is made up of multiple leading technologies, which are broken down to the networking and the security. For the networking half, you have the Cisco Viptela and the Meraki SD-WAN, which provide the next generation WAN connections. And for the security, you have the Cisco umbrella, that would allow user internet access to be secure from anywhere and duo to protect your remote application access with zero trust network access and multi-factor authentication. There are also other complementary technology like the Thousand Eyes that provide network monitoring and visibilities as well as a Cisco AnyConnect that offer the full tunnel remote access VPN. We covered Cisco Duo in the last video series pretty extensively and the series before that we covered the AnyConnect VPN on the Cisco Five Power. For this video series we will be covering the third security technology as you see in this map here which is the Cisco Umbrella. This video will be an introduction video. We will give you a quick overview of what Cisco Umbrella is all about, its components, some basic but crucial concepts, and we will finish off with the topic of licensing. So let's get to that. Let's start our discussion by talking about what problems Umbrella is trying to solve. Internet access today is very prevalent and an important part of many organizations to connect their business, especially with the explosion of public cloud and SaaS adoptions. Traditionally, internet traffic is inspected and secure by a security device located at the central location like a data center and all of the remote site internet traffic needs to travel to that location in order to egress. While this has worked fine in the past for regular internet browsing, it may no longer satisfy the performance required by the cloud-based business critical application and provide a satisfied user experience. Most cloud-based applications are hosted throughout the world, so it makes the most sense from the performance standpoints to have the user go directly to the closest point of presence without having to detour to a centralized location. And this is where many companies starts to install an internet circuit at every site to provide their user direct internet access. And many also take advantage of the internet circuit by adopting technology like SD-WAN to boost their WAN security, redundancy, and bandwidth, and replace their current private WAN with a cheaper internet and potentially get that extra cost saving as well. While all of these sounds great, the question becomes, how do we secure the internet traffic that no longer traverse your data center firewall? Now you can certainly install a firewall device at every site location, but that quickly creates extra management overhead, extra piece of hardware to maintain, not to mention that extra cost of hardware and software subscription. And that does not address to users that are outside of the corporate network, right? because the on-prem firewall would only inspect and secure the traffic that's coming from an on-prem location. So Cisco Umbrella tries to solve these problems. With Cisco Umbrella, what you get are internet security from anywhere, and that means that the user can be either on net or off net, and they'll still get secure internet access with consistent user experience, regardless of where they are located. 